good morning how are ya all right it is i don't know 11 38 i'm up in my office early in the morning <sighs> working 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 there's so much that goes into this stuff you have no idea anyway um i'm up i'm showered i am dressed i got this cute little nude cute little nude t-shirt from walmart um i'm gonna be doing a haul i hope to put it back in the haul so you can let me look here so you can see everything i got and it, um these leggings which are just so easy and comfortable to put on like when it's hot and all that sort of thing i like jeans because i like the way jeans look on me but jeans are heavy and um in the summertime, child, it's, it's a lot to deal with. Anyway, here's my labels. Um, I'm not, probably not going to talk about my business too much on this, this channel, but because I'm vlogging what's going on in my life, then you might hear stuff here and there. But anyway, um, I'm up doing some things. I have some classes that I'm taking online. I've been going to school for two years now for holistic health. Some of you may know, um, if you follow me on Facebook, you kind of been following my journey, but most of you don't know because I have not been on YouTube and I don't really talk about too much of that stuff anyway, in general. But um, before this whole pandemic happened, um, there was classes that I was taking in the city, you know, this teach that teaches you everything you need to know if you're going to be creating your own like wellness products. Right. And I don't just like to jump into stuff and people do stuff because it's trendy or, you know, they think they're going to make some money without doing research and shit like that. And that just bothers me. And I'm just not that type of person. And for my own personal benefit is... <clears throat> why i've invested so much time and energy into holistic things uh for my own family and through the years like trials and tribulations like i know for a fact that organic clean holistic um practices work i would not even be talking about it i wouldn't be preaching about it i wouldn't be giving it to nobody if it didn't work so holistic health works flowers works herbs oils all that shit works okay but there's definitely a science to it and to get the best benefit you have to know what goes with what and what's most beneficial to each person's whatever the needs are so right now i'm actually developing well it's developed already an anti-anxiety roll-on right so me personally have i have had anxiety issues when i'm like overworked and i have a lot of responsibilities and you can really drive yourself mad like just trying to get through life every day balancing things and i needed to figure out something to whew, calm me down so when, so when i'm running crazy and on a trillion gazillion that <clears throat> my mind and everything can calm down because i'm definitely one of those person i'm definitely one of those people who minds are consistently going like i'm like right now i'm already thinking about what i'm gonna do in the next 30 minutes <laughs> but you have to be able to whew, calm down so the anti-anxiety roll on also was something I wanted to do for people in my family who are, you know, same thing. Like we are consistently bombarded with everything that goes on in the world and life and things like that. You really need time to center yourself and your health is your wealth. You don't want to have high blood pressure, heart attacks, um, hypertension, all that sort of thing. You need to be able to find things that work for you to keep you healthy so i'm gonna be offering that on the site um i wouldn't even say that i'm still in the testing phase because i've been using it my cousins have been using it their kids have been using it my in-laws have been <laughs> using it some of the homies who are men who are law enforcement have been using it so the shit works it's just you have to go through channels and all that sort of thing so um yeah that's that's basically what I'm doing and I'm still taking 
the whole point was the classes that I would take in, I'm so happy that they decided to hold classes online. So I don't physically have to go anywhere because we can't because of Corona. And they're going to be doing this from now on, which is so much better. Like, I don't have to go anywhere. I can just sit in my own space and basically, um, you know, get the knowledge that I need. So, excuse me, at 12.15 is when one of my classes start. And I think today they are talking about eucalyptus. So it's like a whole breakdown of the classes are an hour of everything you need to know about all this stuff. Right. So it's great for me. Some things I know, some things I don't know, like I have workbooks. They're here. Um, and you just have to be educated on the stuff that you use. And especially if you're going to sell it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think people take enough time when they're trying to like create a brand or what have you and doing the back part of it like the homework you know that I sort of stuff so I'm gonna before 12 15 I'm gonna go brush my hair because it's definitely just bedhead and um I'm gonna grab some oatmeal you know gluten-free the the choices are very limited I'm gonna grab some oatmeal a cup of tea and um maybe a banana and then gonna wait for my class and then i will try to vlog later i need to go back to walmart because i need to pick up another television for my laundry area so before this clip you probably would have seen me showing you like my laundry area and where i wanted to put the tv but the tv that i was going to use is actually in my kitchen and i don't want to take my tv out the kitchen so the tv in the kitchen now is on top of one of these storage things i bought because as i told you we're going to be gutting the kitchen so for now i had to kind of make do with like things where i store stuff and i bought a rolling stand for that tv in the kitchen but my husband was like he don't want to roll the stand in the kitchen so he's going to have it mounted to the wall in the kitchen like where i'm cooking and cleaning so i can move it and whatever that i've never had a tv in my kitchen but i've had you know like my iphone or ipad whatever but the tv is just so great it totally keeps me in the kitchen and i can still watch my shows while i'm cooking while i'm cleaning and it's great and i'm, I'm always going to want a tv in my kitchen now so that tv is going to stay there so i want to buy another small tv for my laundry room so when i'm in there doing laundry folding um i can still watch my shows if i choose to and yeah so i'm something small you know nothing crazy um i don't even care what the name is usually i'm very particular about like everything that I buy like it has to be of a certain quality but you really could get a good tv and it could be like no name brand and it does the same shit so I mean you know I don't care about the tv in the laundry room now if it was like the tv that's in my living room or something like that then that's that's different like that's movie tv family tv you know you want the best quality but I don't care about a tv that's in my laundry room nor do I care about a tv that's in my kitchen the tv in my kitchen is a is a Roku tv I think and it's been great i actually didn't buy that tv i won that tv at a family function they were doing raffles and i never buy a raffle i was just like i ain't buying no damn raffle and i was like let me you know what gotta support so i spent like twenty dollars thirty dollars and i won a freaking tv i think it's a 32 inch and it's great you know i have all my apps on there youtube um prime netflix and you know that that's probably what i'm gonna try to do get something similar to that for the laundry room so i can access all of my apps and you know no cable box needs to be hooked up to it because i'm fucking sick of cable i'm so sick of cable i have optimum and i hate it i absolutely hate it but i'm not gonna bore you to death i gotta go bye
back in the laundry room. Just had to wash my face really quick and put this hair up. So, hubby and I have been searching for like the perfect pillow. And we have spent way too much money on pillows and haven't found one that meets our standards. So he ordered these. I don't know where he ordered them from, but this pillow is super heavy. Oh. It's Serta Perfect Super Pillow. King size. Um, yeah, and here's a picture of the sheet. So we're gonna see, cause we bought down, the last pillow that we bought was real down and they were too soft. They didn't give enough firmness. So. I'm going to wash these because they're new and I just usually wash anything that I'm going to be wearing. Um, I usually wash like bedding before I use it. So that's what we're going to do. Wash these bad boys and hopefully they are good. Get my little pods. I'm not gonna put anything extra. I put baking soda and I'm gonna do a laundry pot. Alright. So let's see. So it's on normal hot. Uh, medium spin and now it's sensing basically it's sensing how heavy the load is and then it'll adjust so now it's on 57 minutes but it might change it's still adjusting i don't know why i just be waiting here <laughs> until it figures out what it's gonna do because i could literally just walk walk away to tighten this little stand thing oh see boom Change to 28 minutes. See what I'm saying? Technology is good because that's less power and less water. It means more money in my bank. <laughs> So, it's later in the day. I'm still working. <laughs> I took a break, but I am actually doing the loading of products to my website. So, I have some stuff here, some inventory that I have to count and put in stock on the site. So, everything adds up. I have to label stuff. Depending, yeah. So hold on one second. Rubber bands to keep everything that's the same together. So I went. Uh, the last time you saw me eating was this morning. Some oatmeal and um, mark how many I had. These are mass, by the way. Um. I got a bunch of masks wholesale, so I'm going to sell them um, on the site because masks are, you need them. I went and made myself some gluten-free pasta with olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and I had some leftover vegetarian beans. I don't even know if that goes, but... That's what I'm eating now. It is for something. And I got just a thing of alkaline water. Um, 
yeah, so I'm going to actually take a break because my eyes are hurting. He flew from two other rooms over here. My office is in the back of the house. And he listens. He heard me coming up the front stairs and he flew his ass over here. So Cooper's room, he does have a whole room right now to himself. Right now he does. But he's going to be being relocated to our sun room or three seasons room, whatever you want to call it. A room that's full of windows. Right now we're using a three seasons room for storage for like big pieces that we haven't figured out what we're going to do with yet. And that's also getting kind of rebuilt. Um, so we're not Cooper. We're not using it right now. But that is where Cooper's space is going to be. It's going to be in a three seasons room because there will be heated floors there. Tons of um, natural sunlight. There's doors, French doors. We can close them off, you know, if company is over and he's a little bit loud or whatever. So, and he'll love it because as you guys know, if I'm home, Cooper is not in a cage so yeah for now he's in one of the extra rooms um you know <laughs> with extra stuff that we haven't gone through yet but let me get back to this i'm gonna i, I uploaded a vlog today go me vlog 310 i'm trying you guys i'm trying I'm trying to give them a little shorter so it's easier but y'all know how i vlog a clip here a clip there um that's what works for me at least for now and sometimes i get long-winded so those long-winded vlogs be like one vlog but for the most part it's just like different clips so hubby had to do a lot of work for the real estate part of our business and he's been out all day so yeah for dinner i have no idea what i'm gonna eat i'm thinking a gluten-free veggie black bean burger with homemade mayonnaise and maybe like some arugula my husband's not gonna eat that but that's what i'm gonna eat um i have made baked chicken last night so i can do the baked chicken for him some leftovers all right talk to you soon bye